This is what this is the problem I have I have with people who are defending the oil companies here is basically when you go back to the 70s, okay, and you prove to me that cars did they weigh more now. Okay? So you're right on that one. But your logic though is still based in that the oil companies were telling the truth in 1976 that whatever 35 miles per gallon was the best that we could do. So you use that as a jump off point to then prove your point now that that's why cars get the gas mileage that, 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 that they get today is basically, I have to make the leap with you that oil companies are telling the truth that this $350 billion industry. Okay. That, that is on, on numerous occasions openly got in the way of any sort of progress. I remember here out in California, I think it was the late 90s. It might have been 20 years ago. I can't remember if it was before I moved out here the first time or right after I left. The, the air quality out here was so fucking horrific. It's like I, I know a lot of people still think it's real smoggy out here. It definitely gets smoggy, but usually just in the summertime. And It's definitely oh, hazy out here, but haze is not fucking smog. Smog is brown. You go hiking and you feel a burning in your fucking chest back in the day in the late 90s, okay? You could see this shit. So anyway, so they, they, they put this uh, – they put it to the vote for a people, to the people who actually would vote on this shit. And they passed this bill that said by the year 2000 whatever, whatever, 25% or 30% of cars had to run on something other than you know the gas oil – basically the gas combustion engine. They basically paved the way for the big three to then basically start making electric cars. The fucking thing passed. And oil companies got together with their lobbyists and they went and they just totally dismantled the whole thing and the whole thing fucking went away. Okay? Which, for all you people out there who are going to explain capitalism, capitalism to me, I get it. That is their prerogative to do that. Why wouldn't they get in the way of that? So let me ask you this. You're telling me that they would get in the way of that, but they wouldn't get in the way of any sort of progress? Just with the gas combustion engine, they wouldn't get in the way of any of that type of progress. They seem to not get in the way of anything else. Safety, they don't give a shit about. They won't get in the way of that type of stuff. Burning it cleaner, they don't give a fuck about. But miles per gallon, which is their bottom line. Like, do you guys honestly think, like today, like... What your car gets, like, that's honestly the best that science can do. That is, we are right up against the fucking wall. Is that what you're telling me? You know, considering if they just even increased it by 5, 10 miles a gallon per every new car, that they would immediately lose hundreds of millions of dollars. Why would they do it? Why would they do Why would they allow that to happen? Why wouldn't they get in the way of that? That's all I'm asking here. And you know something? For all you fucking assholes out there who call me this whack job conspiracy theorist, these are my conspiracies. Bankers are fucking evil. Oil companies lie to you. And insurance companies are pieces of shit. That's basically my three. And that they have enough money to basically buy elections. That's basically it, okay? Th- those really aren't groundbreaking conspiracies. Are they? I'm not saying the, that some guy living in the fucking moon. I'm not saying I saw a fucking flying saucer come out of the goddamn ocean and fucking take a piss on somebody sunbathing and then, you know, I, I saw Ronald Reagan waving out the side of it and then it took off. I'm not saying that shit. I, I just, I don't buy it, okay? And I actually got emails from people um, they sent me these, uh, these, these links. They sent me this link of this, this fucking kid, 14-year-old kid with one of his classmates, built this futuristic-looking Jetsons car, and they got close to 2,000 miles per gallon. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link to this. You can go on the MM Podcast and look at this thing. MM, the mmpodcast.com. Look at the picture of this thing. Okay, and once you're done saying, well, it's not a practical car, it's not as heavy as the other ones, it would never meet the safety standards, and yada, 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 all that fucking shit. Do you honestly think that airbags, navigation systems, <laughs> crumple zones, and all that, 
you're honestly going to tell me that that basically knocks off 1,900 miles per gallon? Are you really going to fucking sit there and tell me that you honestly think that they're not? Why wouldn't they get in the way of it? They have the money to get in the way in the way of it. And not only that, they're not even part of this country in a way. They're borderless. They're, they're worldwide. I, I, don't, I don't know. <clears throat> so I, dis- I, I, I respectfully apologize for not fucking uh, looking up the way to the car. I was 100% wrong in that. But I still do not think that I'm wrong or I'm fucking paranoid. 